What is up guys, Hero Identity here, and welcome to a brand new series that is like, it's like a modded let's play per se because I have a couple of mods installed just to like throw in some, I guess, curveballs or whatever word you want to say. Um, but it's like a typical let's play, we're going to try and, you know, beat the ender dragon and what, what have you and all that good stuff. But there's some mods that are constricting with that that's going to make it, hopefully make it, for one, a ton more fun. Two, a little bit more challenging, if you will. Because as you all know, um, but first off, I have uh, not enough items installed just to get that out of the way. But, and we're not going to use that to cheat. That is number one rule. But, as you know, a typical, you know, a typical let's play, you know, we're going to punch wood get all this wood yada 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 but there's a couple of things that I want to say about the mods I do know some things about them but there are a lot of things to yet be discovered like I literally don't know as you can see that's still the same that's still the same oh but what is this you can insert a crafting table into that and make a crafting station which you probably know by now that we have tinkers construct installed and then obviously not enough items but if I hit I think yeah left control which I changed it to I have inventory tweaks on so let's say oh look at that boom it takes everything and organizes it to the top left so I don't have like you know let's say I have one thing here one thing there I can be a boop you know but this book over here, Materials in You Volume 1, that is going to be hopefully, hopefully helpful in this ongoing series. This isn't going to be, you know, like a 100 episode series. It should be in the 20s around, depending on how what we want to make, how quickly we want to beat the dragon. And, you know, all the incoming factors of, you know, if our house gets destroyed or we need to move to find a better location for a house. But let's make some sticks here. And let's get on in to the actual let's play by making a crafting station which we already have there's some sugar cane I saw something over yeah there's some more sugar cane let's get some of this good stuff right here we need that for later actually I don't know if the recipes are the same for all that I, like I don't know all the recipes so all these recipes and whatnot are gonna be quite new to me I know that like with Tinker's Construct it makes it not hard but like considerably harder to make you know tools and weapons and stuff like that because you know as a typical thing you just put down a crafting table and then you know go boom boom which you can do but there's some cooler things that you can do with this uh oh actually there's some more stuff we can make and I forget how it goes Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look this. That's another reason I do not know. Let me just see here. Uh, let me see. Crafting. You can make a crafting... Two, ooh, what? The crafting station looks cool. Uh, crap, it's a tool. We can make tool forges and a tool station, which we need to make a tool forge later, but... We also need things, wait, how do you make patterns? I thought it was like that, but apparently it's not. How do you make that? A blank pattern, how do you make that? Oh, okay, that's easy. All right, so it is two sticks, and I think it was the other way, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we got four blank patterns. Now for that, we just need that. Okay, am I stupid? Oh, okay, I am stupid. Don't answer that. <laughs> we need our crafting station, which we can make again. Tool station. Um, and that goes, wait a second, right next to that. Ooh, I need these. These uh, are going to be handy for a little bit later once we find a good place for our house. We need food, too. I'm not sure what kind of wildlife is around here because I don't see anything. I see sheep, but I want to get all this stuff situated quickly, as as quickly as possible. 
Uh, all right. I just want to see. They're usually the last. Yeah, the last couple of things. But as you can see, as we're looking through here, there's a lot of crazy stuff that you can make, like a mandolin, copper, you know, bronze, all that good stuff. But that's going to be a little bit later. I just need to figure out how to make all this stuff real quick. Part builder, I think you need. I think it's a part builder. I'm pretty sure. Um, tool station part builder. Yeah, we need a part builder, which I cannot do because I don't have regular wood. We're going to be hungry for a, quite some time because we need to get tools and stuff like that to make all this stuff of, you know, cutting wood and whatnot way easier. Let me take a quick look. Whoa, where's that? Let me take a quick look in the tool station. Yeah, this is. There's cool stuff like, you know, uh, long sword. The long sword is an offensive weapon. It is often used for charging into battle at full speed. You know, char if you charge it, you can lunge. Um, damage moderate, durability moderate. The One of the best ones, once you get a tool forge, you can uh, make something called. Actually, I don't even remember what it's called. But you can make like you know I see a pickaxe and this stuff gets upgrades too like you have to put in like a blank pattern with like the stuff that you have to make I don't know it's hard to explain frying pan that's cool but we need some other things like crafting station let's put that there let's put that there like the part builder Now we can start making, you know, blank pat. Wait, what? Oh, place a pattern. Man, I have no idea how to do this. I'm going to have to research this. But thankfully, we don't really have to do that this episode. I do not know what I'm doing. I'll have to like do that later because I literally have no clue what I'm doing. Whoops, wrong button. Alright, but I think there is one more that we need. Uh, tool station part builders. I think it's stencil. Yeah, that's that's how we make that. Okay, so it's... Wait, what? How do we make that? Blank pattern and then that. Oh, that's easy. Okay, blank pattern and then that. And we get the stencil table. Whoops, didn't mean to throw that. But, stencil table, this is all the main components of Tinker's Construct, which allows you to put in a blank pattern here, and then make a tool that you would want to make. So let's say we want to make a pickaxe, you need this, and then whatever else it says to make. Like, let's say, for let's say we want to make a sword, which is this, let's say, which sword for now? A broadsword, which is... Damage moderate, durability high, damage hot, moderate. We want something with a lot of damage. Dagger, no. Probably a broadsword, just because the durability for now. Yeah, we'll go with a broadsword. Longsword has a ability, but we don't really need that. But we need a wide guard pattern, a sword blade pattern, and a handle pattern. So, let me see something real quick. Let me see if we can do... Okay, that still is paper. We'll make that into paper. We'll keep some of this. I just want to see if we can do that uh, stencil thing. Let me just see how we do this. Uh, like I said, guys, this is going to be quite a learning process for me because I am retarded when it comes to mods. Uh, I thought you could make like a paper mod which gave you more modifiers because as you can see you can use modify as you probably actually already know you can use modifiers like this says uh, actually it doesn't say but if we go in here you know armor modifiers right there they don't really need to go into that farther for now but we will be adding modifiers like we can add like a block to you know 
uh, that a block, not a block, but a ball of slime that allows us to automatically regenerate our uh, tool. But that's for later because how are we gonna get a ball of slime or a ball of yeah, a ball of slime or something like that or a ball of moss? Excuse me. Right now, um, it's already nighttime and I don't have anything. I'm gonna have to build like a little makeshift house because I do not want to be die already. We're gonna take leave one and put that there. Whoops, build like a little hut rope really quick. We're gonna find a better place to live, but for now, there's sheep over there, we can go get a bed. I don't know if beds do that, I don't think the beds do the same thing in this mod. It doesn't have to be even. Boom, boom, but, uh-oh, we don't have enough wood. Um, let me just go get some more. As soon as we make our house and make a few set of tools, not a set, but like a few tools, we're going to call that an episode. And then next episode, what's going to happen is we're going to, you know, find a better play area for our house and hopefully just not really adventure, but just go look around for, you know, something that has wildlife around it, something that has um, all kinds of stuff, which actually, as a matter of fact, I think we are on, no, we're on normal. I thought we were on peaceful. Because nothing's spawning. I mean, not that I'm complaining about that, but... Everything just needs to be two block high. Alright, two block high, that's good enough for now. I don't know why nothing's spawning. What the? Oh, it's spawning, alright. Thankfully, nowhere near me, though. Because I need to kill those lambs. Oh, we can't. That's right. It's not 1.8. Dang it. Um, Yeah, so we need to go ahead and hurry up and make this sword. Uh, What was it? A blade. I think it's that. But hold on. Let me check really quickly. Tool station. Broadsword. Wide guard. Sword blade handle. Wide guard. Sword blade handle. Wide guard. Sword blade handle. That... Okay, so we got a sword blade pattern. Now, what we need to do is make some more sticks, put that around like that. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm stupid. Like that. Boom. More patterns. Patterns right now are our biggest friend. But the thing is, what you're going to see here in a couple seconds is kind of cool. Wide guard. We need a wide guard. And then we need a handle. This is a handle, right? Wait, what? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back here. That was confusing. And a handle. Actually, wait a second. Whoops, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to see tool rod pattern. How do you get a handle? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Now I think you go into this. Wait, no, you don't. I am so stupid. That's repair. Or don't wait. Don't you go like that? How do you make a handle? That is the most confusing thing I think I've ever went through in my life. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to look that up because I'm retarded. Wait. That's a rod. Do you think it's the rod is the handle? Or I don't think, I don't know whether it is or not. That's the thing. Because we need a smeltery for way later 
once we get like all these materials and stuff like that. I do not have a whoa, didn't mean to do that. Do not have a clue on how to even make this. This is ridiculous. Let me just try that. What could what could possibly go wrong? Tool rod pattern. Tough rod pattern. Actually a lot of things could go wrong. I don't even know why I just said that. Let me just see something real quick. We gotta get the components. That's how you build it. We need to go to the part builder, which I think place a pattern and a material on the left and to get, okay, pattern. Uh, wait, like that? Place a pattern and a material on the left to get started. I am just retarded. Ah, oh, how do I get a wooden wide guard? This is hard, dude. This is so hard to figure out. I can't even begin. Oh my god. This gives you mining level stone. Alright, well at least I figured it out. This gives me mining level iron. Mining speed 3.5, handle modifier, base durability. Alright, that's that. Like that. Then we take out, wait, we take out this, put in that. Got our wooden sword blade. Okay, we're learning here, guys. We are learning. So wait, that, I put in that. Boom. Boom. And then a stick. Oh! And then there is a broadsword, but writable. Okay, that is what we want to do because paper adding a pa making it a paper wide guard. I think it lets us get more modifiers for when when we make the tool forge. But as you can see, we still have wait, where is it? Our patterns. So we need to make a chest for all the patterns we're gonna have. So that's gonna be something we can make in the near future. Prefer look how sick that sword looks. Actually, wait a second, let me show you guys something too. I think, or can wood upgrade? I don't think it can. There's a lot of creepers and skeleton. Oh, you thought you were blowing me up, buddy boy. Come here, zombie. Alright, I got wool. Three pieces of wool. Hmm. There's a lot of sheep. I don't want sheep. I want cows or something. Wait, what is that? Why aren't the skeletons done? What is that? Oh my god, I can't even run. That's all I need is a creeper to come. What is that? That's like gravel and what is that? Iron? Probably need a shovel. Oh, I need those pigs. Oh, God. Blow up. Thank you. I'll take all those blocks. Oh, that was a cheap little way to get him to blow that up. Piggy. Oh, my God. Yes, I hit the mother load. What am I going to do when I actually need, like, not food, but a farm? 
or something like that because we need all this food right here oh my god we hit the mother load guys But then also there's points where I think we can even upgrade this sword by like changing out the materials. Once we get like a pickaxe and whatnot, we can get like, you know, stone and then like iron and what have you. It'll There's all kinds of stuff you can make with the Tinker's Construct. But then there's also different ores and whatnot, which we need a coal. We need coal. We need a... Actually, we need... Oh, God. How do I get back? But we need... We definitely need a pickaxe, like, right now. We got a lot of food. We got that gravel, which I think if we cook that gravel, it'll give us two ores of whatever. Wait, what is it? Copper? Gra tin. Uh, tin and copper, I think. Or wait. Tin and copper make bronze, I think. So we can make, like, a bronze sword or, you know, whatever. Whatever we really want to make. There's a lot of stuff, like I said, that you can do with Tinker's Construct, which is actually pretty crazy. But let's hurry up and get in our house so we can eat. Um, what do we need to do now? All right, for a pickaxe, which if you ever want to see what a pickaxe needs, it is the pickaxe thing, that thing, and the stick. So what we can go ahead and do while it's daytime is go ahead and cut some more wood so we can get some more supplies for that all right 21 should be good for now we have that let's go ahead and just make ourselves a chest while we're here and I think if you wait I think it's next to the crafting table. So what we need to do is move this around. Or excuse me, crafting station. Yeah, there we go. There's the chest, right? And if, you, and if you're trying to craft something from your chest, like let's say all oh, this is in here or whatever, and we want to craft something, we can just go ahead and take that and then, you know, go ahead and do all that. So that's pretty cool. Let's put all the non-needed stuff right now. We need those. Need that. Need that. But don't need that. Don't need that for now. Don't need that. Oh, actually, I do want to see if we can make a bed real quick. Because that would be nice so we don't ever have to deal with mobs again. At least for now. Okay, and bed. Let's put that right here for now. Yep, so only sleep at night. That's wonderful. Now, guys, what we need to do is make a pickaxe. So let's get that pickaxe pattern. Let's get that pattern. And that is it. So the part builder, if you remember what we just did, it's this plus a piece of wood. Boom. And then it is the wide guard or the binding pattern, excuse me, with a piece of wood wooden binding plus a stick it gave us an extra stick so now what we do is go to the tool station get our pickaxe put that whoops put that with that with a stick and then we get a pickaxe and now it says mining level iron mining speed so now we can go ahead and mine iron if we have to which will be able to upgrade this stuff with it let me just put that in the chest too actually which is what we need to do right now because we need all kinds of stuff. Then there's this cool tool right here, which it says the Cuttermatic is a versatile farming tool. It is effective on wood, dirt, and plants, which this is a hoe, this acts as an axe, and it, wait, I think, and a shovel. It's a shovel, hoe, and an axe all in one. Yeah, because it takes the same thing as an axe. Yeah, I'm not really sure whether we need to do that anyway for uh, a shovel and that. So we'll go ahead, just get all the patterns out of the way right now. So what we need to do is we don't need any more sticks, actually. What am I doing? Get that. Boom, boom. 
make more blank patterns, go to the pattern thing, get the shovel, which is right there, boom. Get the axe, boom. And then that's all we need for now. Okay, we're gonna get a lot of patterns, guys. Like I said, we are gonna get so many patterns, it isn't even funny. Where is that? There's that, boom, 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 boom. Let's go into tool station, Matic. Put that there, put that there, put that there. And we have ourselves a Matic, guys. So now we can near water, you know, make a little farm with these seeds. And uh, we need some more, though. Because I need to eat, like, as of right now, or else I'm going to die. So we're going to eat that. We have to. Matic and seeds. Okay, they're right there. I'm going to go over here, though. Yeah, that's a nice shovel. It's going to break really fast, though, because it's going to be used as a, you know, tool, hoe, whatever else. But like I said, though, there's other materials you can make stuff out of. And once we start getting good materials, things will be lasting quite a while. And you can always repair and stuff like that. Like if we have a piece of wood and that thing's about to die, we can always just, I think it's in this. We just go, yeah, repair and modification. So I think you put it in there. And then, yeah, see, like one piece of wood would fully recharge that. But there's some cool things that you can do once we start getting more materials but as of right now, guys, that is probably going to wrap up this episode here. Next episode, we're definitely going to go mining. But that is pretty much all we can do for the first episode. We'll finish the house and whatnot. Well, actually, do we want to live here? I mean, I don't know. This is a nice land. We can always have the farm right here growing. And then we'll get a fence, more fences and stuff like that to put around it. But we need to go on adventure over there and stuff. But like I said, that's going to wrap this episode, guys, up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this modded Let's Play, I guess you could call it. But if you guys are new to my channel and you guys have not subscribed yet, I suggest you do so because I upload videos daily. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode, which I cannot wait for. This this freaking, I guess, modded Let's Play is going to be amazing, fun, and like, I don't know, hopefully like crazy because I don't know what I'm doing as you can see. But peace out.